Hi, welcome to Diabotical. I'll try to teach you some things about the game. Let's begin with health and armor. Get that green canister over there. That was mega health. Health is an important resource in Diabotical. Your health would not regenerate naturally. So it's important to collect health when needed on the map to stay combat ready. Grab the red armor that just spawned. You are now armored up. Armor absorbs 67% of incoming damage. The rest goes to your health. But if you are very low on health, armor may not be too useful. But taking armor away from your opponents will stop them from becoming powerful. Armor responds every 25 seconds. So when you learn the armor locations on the map, it is a good idea to rotate back to them to gain an armor advantage over your opponent before your next fight. Now, let us explore the three most powerful weapons in the arena. This is the rocket launcher. It is a very powerful weapon that shoots a projectile. A direct hit does high damage. A hit on the surface near your opponent does squash damage. It is the strongest close range weapon in Diabotical. And aiming at your opponent's feet will bounce them, making follow-up rockets easier. Aim at the feet and frag these three eggbots. Pick up the red weapon. Frag. Nice, you got them. Now grab the yellow weapon. This weapon is called the Shaft. It fires a beam of limited range that hits targeted opponents immediately. It is the strongest mid-range weapon in Diabotical. It is very strong if you manage to track the movements of your opponent. Frag those three eggbots. Ace, double frag. They're all gone. Let's take a look at this blue weapon. This is the pincer. That's the way you pronounce PNCR, which stands for Point and Click Rifle. It is the best long-range weapon, as it has unlimited range. But it has a long reload time, so using it close range is risky. If you hit multiple shots without missing, its damage will go up. Now frag those three eggbots! You've cleared the world of eggbots. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. I see. There are many more and you yourself are an eggbot. Focus on learning these three weapons first. There are many more in Diabotical. But remember, rockets for close range. Shaft for mid range. And Pinzer for long range. And you would become a very powerful eggbot. Let's keep going. There are no more eggbots to shoot here. The door behind you just opened. Turn around and go down the stairs. You are now locked in place. Let us talk about movement. In Diabotical, there are various ways to gain speed. The easiest way to start is to move forward and to hold jump and move down the track. I will open the racetrack for you so you can try. was fast, but we can go faster by initiating the movement using dodge, which by default is bound to your shift key. Dodge will instantly give you some speed, and if you hold jump after you dodge forward, you will be able to keep that speed. Now, press forward, then dodge, and hold jump, and proceed down the racetrack. That was even faster! Good job! You can go even faster by doing something called strafe jumping but we will cover that in the future. This concludes the first part of the tutorial. You are free to move down the racetrack as much as you want. Thank you for participating. You can find the exit portal halfway down the track. Toya Fortress.
30 seconds remaining. <laughs> Sunken. in three, two, one. Fight.
One minute remaining. Seconds remaining. Marina. Game starts in three, 